Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Stefania. Thank you so much for finding me here. This is going to be your monthly collective reading overarching energy for the sign of Capricorn. So as I was dropping in and connecting in with the energy, I was getting, I've been getting the coolest visions for uh, the monthlies for July. Um, for Capricorn, as I was dropping in with Spirit, they were showing me, I was hearing the song by U2, Wild Horses, and I was seeing a group of wild white horses running across a beach and it was and I was hearing like the woo, you know it was so powerful and they were so beautiful and free and wild and just effortless and strong and you know whenever I connect with the spirit of horse especially a wild horse it's like I feel free. It's about freedom and being free in the energy, being free in your spirit. And I feel like this for, you know, you're going to, all the messages are metaphorical in nature. So you take it, how it resonates, apply it to your life, how it fits. But I feel like this is a, you know, this is a time where, you know, some of you may be breaking free from potentially limited beliefs, limited thinking, lim limitations, um, you know, oftentimes problems, problems exist only in our minds. They don't, they're not even existing on the outside because it's all in our head. And so there's something about freedom and it's, it's freedom. And, you know, when you're really in control of your mind it creates freedom, right? So there's something in that is also, I also feel too physical freedom. I just got a massive jolt of energy that just moved through my solar plexus there. So some of you could be having like digestion issues, but also that connects with power because the, the horse is powerful, right? So I feel like a lot of you are going to be reconnecting to your power, your unlimited, the creation of all that is, the source, the soul, that's your power, feeling more powerful, feeling strong, feeling confident. I feel like this is the energy that's coming in for you in July. You're, you're, that's, it's being restored. Somehow I feel like I need to say it's being restored for somebody out there as I'm connected with Capricorn. Okay. So really happy to, to deliver that on the, on the flip side of the horses, I was seeing this little bunny rabbit on the edge of the water. The, the bunny rabbit was just sitting there watching all the horses run by. And I was like, Oh, that's cute. And, but the bunny is always about luck. Like it's a lucky time. Now, some people say, Oh, well, you know, luck doesn't exist. We, we create our luck, blah, blah, blah. But, but in terms of spiritual messages, it's like being in the right place at the right time and like just a good thing happening. It feels like that. So look out for rabbits. Um, I feel like it's also represents fertility and like new beginnings and new creation energy. So do, definitely feel like it's all connecting. Okay. Do what you love. Im so important. You do what you love. What is it that you want? Ask yourself the question, do what you love. What brings you joy? What brings you fulfillment? What, what is it that you want? Ask yourself that very important question. When you align with that, you start taking the action towards that. The universe starts to move, to meet you in that energy, but you got to get out of your head and free yourself from limitations. Okay. Cause I was picking up for some of you, not all limitations in the mind. Okay. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. I can't read my own writing. <laughs> Uh, but, 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 but yeah, letting, oh, a lot of energy in the heart chakra too. And that was connecting in with, um, doing what you love. So following your passion, following your desire, doing what you love will lead you to this place of feeling powerful, feeling free. Okay. Um, the other thing too, for some of you, I was getting something about real estate. I was seeing uh, real estate transactions, uh, buying, selling, moving, shaking, da, da, da. So, um, and I feel like for some of you, I, I feel like I'm connecting with potentially big, like I was getting lots of land. Okay. So this could be a message specifically for one person who's interested in purchasing like a big purchase of land or something, but there's definitely real estate energy. So for some of you, it's like positive, even though I know like people are saying the market's not great, blah, blah. Never mind. We can supersede, super rise above all of the limitations of the human capacity, human mind, when we connect to the creation of all that is. So there was uh, transactions and positive move forward with real estate also. 
for our Capricorns. So let's look at the cards and see what the tarot has to say. Tarot always reflects what I'm saying. It's just fun to see. <laughs> what comes up for us all? Actually, I'm not a Capricorn. Although I do my I do like my Capricorns. <laughs> All right, Spirit Guides, Good Angels, messages for our beautiful Capricorns. Any messages they need to hear, what's coming up for them for July. Passionate New Beginning, Ace of Wands. This is all about you, you know, riding on the horse, being free, passionate new beginning. I was talking about it. Do what you love. Follow your passion. Follow your passion. Do what you love. Ask yourself, what do you want? That's the secret. This gives you the power. You release yourself from a limit, limiting, limiting mindset, limiting beliefs, something that's been holding you back as you connect to the higher mind. This is the Hierophant energy. Very spiritual, most spiritual, very spiritual card in the deck. It's all about connecting to the spiritual energy, connecting to your higher mind, higher mind empowerment, new beginning, the fool. This is what I feel for Capricorns. It's you're moving into a whole new cycle. Very strong passion energy. I mean, I feel like I almost don't even need to pull any more cards because as I was saying, passion is all about the passion you begin. You can see the passion in the middle of her third eye there. Uh, anything else coming in for our Capricorns for July? Look at my dog. Look at my dog. <laughs> Are you quite cozy there? Yeah. Oh, death and transformation. Death and transformation means like new beginning feeling transformed, restoring balance, six of pentacles within yourself, giving and receiving healthy relationships, partnerships. I feel like this, you know, for some of you, this could be a new partnership, but I also feel like it could be partnership with your higher self, more stable, healthy environment within your own being. Okay. So let's look at the spirit animals and see what they have to say. Any messages from our spirit animals for our beautiful Capricorns? <sighs> for our beautiful spirit, for our beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. What do they need to hear? Thank you so much. Spirit animals for our beautiful Capricorns. Beautiful Capricorns. Be fearless and bold. Be fearless and bold. Be fearless and bold. Anything else for our beautiful Capricorns? For the month of Jul July. Starfish spirit. Open it to infinite possibility open to infinite possibility anything else Thank you guys great angels for our beautiful capricorns thank you so much let's see what else wait for a jumper Oopla. antelope spirit life is speeding up now it's not a horse on the card but life is speeding up oh shit 